computer. Okay, one more. Hold on just a second. I got a couple more people in the waiting room that I need to admit in. So mm. welcome everyone to Dawn Streamers, Dream Catchers Zoom meeting. Hold on just a second, there we go. Um, hold the questions and please mute every yourself as we go through the PowerPoint so we get a good replay for those that need to watch the replay. We will do questions at the end. So, and then we've also got a little project to do at the end as well. So welcome everyone that's watching this replay. Uh, this is October 8th Zoom meeting. Let's get started. Okay, Darwin, you can advance the slide anytime. I did already. Okay, it didn't come up for me. So we're going to get started with recognition. That's the first slide as soon as it comes up here. We'll do recognition for campaign 20 and 21. Still don't see it. Still don't see it. No. Does anyone else see it? No. No. So, okay, you want to hit that advance button again. <laughs> okay. I think I just got booted. All right. So we will. So the, the computer I, is reconnecting. So you can just kind of read off your copy there. Okay. I'm going to read off the copy and I promise we will show this in uh, when the his computer reboots. For campaign 20, again, I've got my name listed on there, but only because I'm showing you all that, um, that I am doing the same sales that I'm asking all of you to reach for. But number one on the list, let me see if there's anyone else I need to accept in real quick. No, I don't see anyone um, in there waiting. Okay, good. Um, hold on just a second. Okay. Um, number one is Kim Williams with $649. Then we have Florence Carnival with 550. Bobby Dean, Becky, Mary, Michelle, Curtis, Melanie, Catherine, and Roger. So you'll see all of that when... Um, when the screen comes up <laughs> for campaign 21, um, we have the top of the list is Kim Williams with 804, Florence with 763, Bobby, Roger, Michelle, Catherine, Mary, Jody, Becky, and Legina. So how are we doing Darwin on coming back in? I reconnected once and it still didn't come back apparently. Let's okay, now I'm back again. Let me try. Okay. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's still on share screen. Don't you love technology? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on to reps tracking to PRP levels. And I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anybody in the room. That's not getting in. So we're good there. Okay. Now, as soon as that comes up, we'll have that up. We'll first, you know, I'll go through, let you see the recognition. And then um, we'll, we're doing the rep tracking to PRP. 
Now there was an email that was sent out to everyone today and I need to admit someone, excuse me. Okay, there was an email sent out to everyone today in President's Club and above. Premier may have got it too, probably. And what is going to happen? There's good, good news here. So instead of ending with campaign 26 for this year, they're going through um, December 31st, I believe it is, uh, which is campaign two um, for you to include in this year. Okay, so they're going by calendar primary than just campaign. Okay, so then wherever you end up at the end of December 31st in your sales, you will, which we didn't know how was how next year was going to go yet, but you will continue at that level through the date was September 28th, I want to say. I've got the I've got the updated sheet right here. This September 28th. So but most know, importantly, you can qualify for 2020 through campaign two. That's what I just said, Dar, when you missed it. I'm sorry. Okay, so you have until December 31st. Okay, looks like we got a screen coming up. So we'll go back to that slide. Um, you wanna go uh, put up the recognition one first since we missed that one, please? Okay, recognition again for campaign 20. We went through the names and for campaign 21, uh, we went through these names. So congratulations to everyone that is on this list and all of you that are, um, you know, working to be on this list. Okay, I'm going to minimize this so we can see everybody okay. Now reps tracking to PRP levels. The green column is the representatives that have reached PRP level already. The level they were at last year is whether it like mine is Rose Circle, Kim was Honor Society, Becky was PC, Mary Murphy made PC, Bobby Dean made PC, um, and Florence made PC. And then the yellow is Catherine Thurman, which has already made Premier for this year. So that's the year to date sales in that second column. And then the tracking to PC shows the percentage and tracking to Honor Society, okay? And then on the right side there, the following reps have achieved PRP level with the campaign 20 and 21 campaigns that we're talking about tonight. So that is Bobby Dean and Florence have requalified in PC in campaign 21. Uh, reps in the green, like I said, have qualified for PC or higher in 2020. Um, Catherine Thurman is only an LOA 14 and she's a chief premier for 2020. The following reps are almost to the next PRP level and that includes Jennifer and Michelle, almost there for 2020 and Jody has almost achieved premier status in 2020 as well. So keep at it folks, because we are in campaign 22. And now we learned that we get to go instead of just through campaign 26, we get to go to reach PRP level for through campaign two, which is January 5th. So keep reaching those higher levels because that means you're giving yourself a raise. Next slide. So this one, it, we broke it down and we wanted to show you exactly how far, how much more you needed and how much per campaign. 
That's the far to right hand side columns. So find your name there. And then we, you know, with the news today, we had to recalculate these numbers on how much you need per campaign to reach this level of, you know, whether, whether if you made PC, how much more you need to make Honor Society. If you haven't reached Premier yet, how much you need to reach Premier. Um, and so that the next level is the column in the middle there. Year to date sales are there. I'm kind of going backwards. Um, so that's, you know, something maybe you want to take a picture of so that you know how much you need. And if your name is not on here, um, contact us and we will work together to make this happen for you so that you're guaranteed, you know, your earnings for all of next year through September. And then by September, you want to have achieved President's Club or higher to continue the earnings for the rest of the year. Okay. You want to hear something funny, Dawn? Okay. I'm eight dollars and fifty-five cents away from Premier. Okay, well then don't stop at Premier. Let's go for President's Club. I can't believe I was like, no way. That is like eight dollars. So I'm getting a hold of customers to get an eight dollar customer. Okay. But if you right. if you can get it before the end of uh twenty two they'll recalculate your earnings for campaign 22. So it would yeah. be worth doing. Yeah, I'm going to have it there this week, so. Okay, great. all right, that's great, Jen. So you can make that. So uh, again, please mute yourself so that we can get through these slides. So the PRP commission levels remain the same through at least January. I can't read the date there. At least through campaign 21 of 2021. Okay. And, and whoops, I got to admit someone into the room here. Okay. So this is the levels. Contender, um, Premier, President's Club, Honor Society, Rose Circle, David McConnell Club, and President's Council. And Inner Circle, I believe, is down there too. So um, my screen is just cut off at the bottom. Okay, next slide. Let's keep going so we get through this because we got great stuff at the end. So new reps in their first year with Avon with sales over $200 in campaign 20 was Curtis and Catherine. Great job. As you can see their LOA on the right side and campaign 21, <clears throat> excuse me, that was Catherine with over $200 in sales. So I wanna see more names on here for these new gals. Uh, Pathway to Premier completed as of campaign 21. So the first two, Heather and Kina, have completed all of the Pathway to Premier and that shows the bonuses that they achieve, $60 and $20. Remember, there is a lot of money on the table for new representatives in their first eight campaigns. Curtis uh, has five campaigns left and Rebecca has four campaigns left. So get those sales over $200 each campaign, get those bonus points, get those bonus uh, $20 bonuses, get $1,000 cumulative, you know the program, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Okay, next slide. Reps over 400, we covered them earlier in the, in the top 10 chart, but as you can see, um, there's some great selling going on in campaign 20 as well as campaign 21. Next slide. So we have some team birthdays in October and let's see, I think the only one that's on this call or maybe on the call is Kim Williams. He's got an October 27th birthday. Um, but anyway, happy birthday to all of our October team members. Next slide is our anniversaries for October. And look at that as 
as high as 49 years with Avon, all the way down to one year with Avon. These are birthday, our anniversaries in October. They're Avon anniversary. Next. The team building from September 10th to October 7th. Um, Darwin and I did two, Yulana did one, Ashia Wilson did one, and under Roger, Jennifer Addis did three. So congratulations, Jennifer, great job. Keep building that team. Next slide. We have a special incentive that we just came up with. It's gonna be through campaign 26, the close of campaign 26, achieve bronze leader, and we're gonna take you on a mini retreat. Free hotel night, free meals. We'll figure out who makes it on where the location will be. So it will be easy, <clears throat> easy to, for you to get there. So who is going to put, if you're not or have never been a bronze ambassador for bonuses, you're gonna put $500 in your pocket. For silver ambassador, $750 bonus. For gold ambassador, $1,000. And for bronze leader, $1,500, giving you a total of 37.50 if you're not not reached bronze ambassador currently or in the past. So there is money on the table. So that's the qualifications up there. Total unit sales, 8,000. Personal sales, 200. Now, I not personal sales, 200. First gen orders, eight, okay? So as you're building your team, <clears throat> Excuse me, as you're building your team, um, you know, you, you've got something to go for here. Let's do a mini retreat. We're looking forward to it. Who's going to join us? So signing someone up is easy as sending them to your online store with the example right there. We show this every time. So please, if you're with us every time, bear with me as, um, you know, we share this with everyone that may be seeing this replay. Go ahead, next slide. Next slide is the three starter options still available. No cost sign up. You'll start up with online, you know, online sales. Of course, online appointing to your team. You can make a contribution to breast cancer research. Um, with $5 or more, and you still get that online advantage, or you can also sign up with a starter kit for $30, which has an over $107 value. They get to choose. We also made up this flyer, left it blank on the bottom for you to get out of Dawn's Dreamers files to use. Qualified bonuses for you, course $20 qualified recruit bonus for every successful new rep, 3% sponsoring bonus each time that new rep submits an order, and also more in leadership. But remember, once you achieve bronze ambassador, you'll start earning another 3% on your team sales, plus that $500 bonus for qualifying. Uh, for the campaigns following the achievement. If you'd like to talk more about a 37.50 uh, bonus money, let us know. This is for our new first generation reps. With your first and second order being $200 or more, we give you $30 in sales tools. Now your team leader, your Avon advisor, may be doing something special with gifts and things like that as well. We leave that up to them to decide what they wanna do. Next slide. The pathway to premiere that we just talked about, and that is the napkin approach in green that we put together. We also added the mini milestone 
big re rewards that they just added for when you have cumulative sales of $500 um, as a new re representative in our team and the stepping stone bonus. And then once your sales are over a thousand, that's when you get the $100 bonus. But the key thing to stress to the people that you talk to about joining your team is the total compensation potential of over $3,300. And that's like 66% earnings. So that's that again is also found at Dawn Streamers in the files for you to use as you need. Okay, let me just pause a moment and admit someone. Okay, next slide. This goes into more detail of what was just updated last campaign last month when we, we did the Zoom, $500 in sales in your pathway to premiere, gets you the $50 cash bonus. This is $500 in sales, cumulative, $50 cash bonus, 50 lip balms, $1,000 in sales, milestone bonus, gives you $100 cash bonus and 100 lip balms. There's many things you can do with those lip balms by giving them out to maybe customers that place their first order or their first $50 order or whatever you decide, That's those are yours to, to use um, for your business. Next slide. Okay, the Dawn Streamer Catchers team, we put together this flyer. It's also in Dawn Streamer's files for you to show people what they invest, what they get with all the little circles there, what their earnings are, what their free gifts are with their first campaign order um, and putting extra money in their pocket. So that's just something that we newly put together and it also kind of gives you, you know, a laid out approach. Next slide. This is something that all of your new team members should be completing. If someone says, I don't know where to go for new customers, they need to be filling out this form. 40 prospects in 40 minutes at 25% earnings in eight campaigns. That's where the money's at by just writing down a list of names. Next slide. There's new representative orientations that are still going on every Tuesday and you can see there are different times. There is also a new Facebook Live that they created on how to place an order. You can get all of this information in the business calendar at Avon Now. Check that daily for what you need to be learning from the videos they are supplying. Facebook Live campaign kickoff. Now they changed this virtual sales meeting and campaign kickoff kind of thing a little bit. So the first day of each new campaign, they're doing the campaign kickoff. So the next one is October 14th, next Wednesday, because you know, Tuesday campaign 22 ends. And then the next one after that is October 28th. And I gave you the two time zones there, Eastern time and Central time. Now they also have the virtual sales meeting webinar that goes on the Wednesday before each new campaign starts. So next on the 21st will be a webinar, a meeting webinar. And you again, sign up for all of these at the business calendar. Just click on the days and you'll see everything that Avon's put out there for you. Next slide. Here's the upcoming dates for the campaigns. So you know we're in campaign 22 and that goes through Tuesday. Need to have your orders in by noon. That's what 
they always say earlier the better because things do get all busy and I would hate to have anybody miss the campaign because they put it in an hour after it closed out. Then campaign 23, you can just take a picture of this slide and see the starting date. The online date always starts the day before we start the campaign. So those always start on Tuesday. The campaigns always start on Wednesday. 24 is there and 25. So these are important campaigns right now with building your sales and getting going to earn that next level in our PRP program. Give yourself a raise. Next. Save the date for next Tuesday, October 13th. There's an Avon anniversary celebration. And it is um, six o'clock central, seven o'clock Eastern time. And again, go register for it at the business calendar at Avon now. Then you'll get an email reminder as well. Okay, next slide. Okay, good. <laughs> you guys all know that Avon changed from Avon USA representatives Facebook page to the official Avon representative social selling. Avon Social ended October 1st. Scott Kramer does have a program that you're welcome to check into and become a member of that. But Avon Representative Social Selling. Now, the key thing to know in this, go into this, click on this or search for it on Facebook. You will have to enter your name and your account number because it's only for representatives. Avon USA representatives, they didn't have that closed. And there was other people coming in there that they didn't like that was happening. So this is one of the main reasons they switched to this official Avon representative social selling page. Now, all of those little tabs underneath that row of pictures, that is where you're gonna find your photos and your videos and things that Avon has done or what is coming up, okay? So go to this page once you get in there. It may take a little while to get in because a lot of people are trying to get in. So be patient, just put in your name and your account number and then they'll send you a notification when you've been in, you know, been accepted and then click on all those little tabs because you will be surprised what you will find. I didn't realize that until I watched one of their videos that showed all those tabs and what is the, you know, the pictures that used to be in, in Avon Social, they're there, okay? So that's how they're gonna update you with pictures that you can download and post on your social page. So an important detail to remember. Okay, next slide. Is coming, there it is. What are you doing to find new customers? This is kind of a thought starter here. What are you sharing with your friends, family and et cetera? Are you suggesting to them that they go to the browse products tab? at Avon, at your online store? Are you going there at Avon now and making sure you know what the online exclusive offers are each campaign? Some of the daily essentials are in the book. Some of them are not. It's gonna be you that's gonna share that with your customers, your friends, your family the upcoming products from the What's New, which is two campaigns ahead. You can take pre-orders on these products. It's really important to do that, especially as we approach the holiday products that are in there, they're limited. 
And that's another reason why you want to put your order in at the beginning of the campaign cycle instead of at the end. These things are going to sell out. And I just want you guys to know that you can do a PDF of the what's new since we don't get it in the um, in our boxes anymore. Um, Avon is trying to go green and saving paper, but you can go there and you can check all these things out. You can go to the PDF, which if you've got questions about that, just let me know. I can direct you and how to do that. I print mine out. You don't have to. You can just save the picture so you can show um, people what's coming and take pre-orders for these products. Next slide. What are you doing daily? Who are you talking to with opportunities that come up? How much time each day are you planning to reach out and focus on customers or new team members? Again, the slide is kind of a thought starter as we move into the next slide, which gives you some ideas to find new customers and team members. Did everyone see that this new fundraising offer came out this week? where you can create a fundraiser and sell these gorgeous bracelets and then donate to whatever cause. And it can be a personal cause. It can be, you know, the making strides against breast cancer. It can be, you know, every organization that had to cancel their events that they planned on raising money with, some of them are canceled. So you can approach those organizations with this picture showing them that this bracelet, I believe it was $9.99 if I remember correctly. Um, I love these. These can be for children. They're adjustable. They can be for adults. I think men would wear these as well as women. So you really have no limitations on this at all. Next idea to find new customers and team members is to have an online event. There's many ways you can do this. What about, and I just heard this in um, a Zoom I think that I was on, what about having an online game show? The commercials can be promoting Avon and you can show pictures of Avon, but people would be playing bingo, People could be playing Family Feud, uh, Trivial Pursuit, you name it. It's all out there, ready for you to go research and find. Or another online event would be Flo Carnavelli is going to share with us on how to do an online party. So now, Flo, you can unmute yourself and you take over. Okay. Um, I know I've done it in the past. I've had some parties in the past, but I put a slideshow together so that you guys can get a good idea on how to go about doing it. So it's your online Avon party. And how do I put it together? That's my biggest question on all of them. And I recently put a party together and it turns out that the girl that I did it with got sick. And so we've kind of had to put it on hold, unfortunately, but I put this together anyways, and this was so much fun. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start reaching out to everybody and see if I can give them a party. So go ahead and go with the next one, Darwin. They're all pretty self-explanatory, all of these pages. So it'll be easy for you to see it, but these are some of the slides and, and they're fun. And you can find every single one of these like I did. I got a lot of them off of Pinterest. Um, I would just go to Google and I would Google, you know, I'm having a party for Avon and you wouldn't believe all the stuff that comes up and it's fun, it's fun stuff. And you would put all of these together. You can, you can have fun with it. You can get excited with your, their customers, their friends. So these are some of the slides and I wanted to show you a bunch of different things that I found out there. 
and go ahead and go to the, go to the next one. It's going to show you step by step what it is that you need to do. So first of all, and most important, get to know your hostess, talk to her, find out what it is that she's looking for, what she wants for free. She needs to dedicate her time with her friends so that she can see what it is that um, she's got going on. Because you know what, if she wants something big, she's going to have to work a little bit for it, isn't she? So get to know your hostess, make sure she understands what her role is in the party, get to know what she wants to get for free. And that's really important because once you know what she wants, you can tell her what she needs for her party goal. So days before her party, you put it on there, you post it on her page that she's having a party. These are a couple of different things. The one on the right with the, with the greenhouse, yes, I put that together for the party. That's what she wants. So I made sure that they got to see it. So there's a link. You can link it right to the party when you put it together and you're gonna have to do it as a group. Um, I don't know how many of you have tried to do an event, but you gotta do it as a group on Facebook because the group will get her what she needs to invite her friends. If you do it as an event, it's harder to get the friends in there. So, so you set up her party page, you make her a co-host. She invites all of her friends to this page. This is where they all wanna be. So go ahead to the next slide. Go ahead, Darwin, slide her over. <laughs> <laughs> Day one, you welcome her guests to the page and get to know them by asking how they know the hostess. Now there's that one little down on the side. It says roll call, let's get the party started, announce yourself and get an entry to the raffle. If you're gonna do a raffle, this is a perfect thing. And they're all over Facebook, they're all over Pinterest, they're all over uh, Google, and there are dozens and dozens of them out there. So you throw stuff up on her page. It's party time. It's time to party in your pajamas or, or you know, it's the wine thingy. Um, so also show them how to link to your e-store. That is so important. Tell them, come party with me in the campaign that you're on, and then click here to place your order wherever your e-store is. Make sure they know how to get to your store. Here's something important about that. Avon will let you know when somebody is ordering and make sure you know who your hostess guests are. So you tell them what's happening, what the hostess is shooting for and put, put a picture up there if you've got one. So these are some just some ideas and you can get all these pictures off of your uh, Avon now. That's where I pulled all of these from. So yeah, these are nice and you can get them from Google. There's a lot of stuff in Google. So you invite them to come back to play games. I play games, all kinds of games, and they're all over the internet. You can find these everywhere. So if you're giving prizes, tell them how to earn points. Make the prize something simple, like uh, something that you get in an A box, you know, a pair of earrings or something. And you can show them what they're going for to earn and get them to participate. Make them comment on each of your stuff. See, one point for every comment you make, five if you order $50. Or you can even give them 10 points if they're the first one to order something. And you keep track of it. Just get yourself a little notebook and just keep track of all of that. So easy. I can't tell you how easy it is. Go ahead and advance that. And do it during the party in every little area that you can think of. Because, you know, it's do a party on one day and a game, you know, throw a game in there and then show them products. Tell them everything. Interact with them. Show and tell a product. Play a game and congratulate your winners. And tell them it's something inspirational. Show them some fun stuff. If you guys need any of these pictures, I'll send them to you. I have all of these. But these are just some little ideas. So you want to know what they're interested in. You want them to be having fun at your parties. You want to put at least four or five things out there every day for the duration of the party so they don't lose interest and they keep coming back. That's the secret. Show them all kinds of cool stuff. Ask them what they want. If they want something they can't afford, remember they can get it by becoming a hostess. I know I put that up there, a girl can dream, right? I mean, you'd really need a big, big party to get that, but still, you don't know what they want. I mean, they're gonna want any of this stuff. So you gotta tell them what they want, what they're shooting for and make them get on their friends about it. Hey, you didn't order anything yet. What are you, what are you waiting for? Get on there and order. So you want something that they want. Make sure if they can't afford it, Tell them, hey, you can be a hostess and earn it and let your family and friends get it for you. So at some point, tell them why you love Avon and offer them the opportunity. Yeah, I love what I do. I really do. I really do. 
So you can tell them the simple way to do it. Right now, it's still for free. So they can get in there on there for free. I got two of my hostesses to sign up. So you can do it too. It's like, look, you could have had all this. Or if you talk to her before then, say, look, you're shooting for a $500 party to get your free stuff. If you sign up and sell Avon, your party could be your first order. So you don't get all that extra money, but they do. And now you've got somebody who had a really good sale logged in under you. So don't leave that out of it. So you want to go to the party and maybe even get her started. And this could be her kickstart so that she gets lots of money on it. And then she'll, she'll be your new person. So go ahead and the next one. It's really easy. And these are all over the internet too. Offer them your hostess program, show them how the whole thing works. And there you go. That's what I just said. See if your hostess is interested in selling Avon and before the party starts, offer it to them. And they've got these all over, um, all over Google as well. These little things in the pink. Um, you can you can do it this way with 10%. You can you can go higher, you can go lower, whatever it is that you want to offer them for free. And that's how you do it. Signing her up is an option. If you're looking for leadership, this is a good way to get started. If your hostess wants to sell, the sales are hers, but you become a leader and her first order will be a big one. And then you can change your text to say, you know, look, who just joined Avon, come join the party and help her get started. They want to help their friends if they know their friends are starting a business. So this is a good opportunity for your hostess and for you. Then Avon will notify you when someone puts in an order and be sure to keep track of your total so you can give your hostess the proper credit. And every time someone orders, you blare it out there. Mary just ordered this. She's the first one. Thank you, Mary, for your order. And then you can even tell them, you know, the hostess only needs another $150. Who's next? You know, whatever you want to do. And that's the good part about it because it's all about you getting what you want out there for her and bring her in. Ask the new hostess, uh, ask for new hostesses and tell them how the party works. Tell them that they're going to get their 15% or 10% or however much you want to do. It's up to you. So you just tell them you want, you want free Avon, contact me. And these signs are all over the internet too. You just pull them out there and add them to your folders and you've got all this great stuff. Hostess wanted, no experience necessary, must love free stuff, that's fun. All right, wrapping things up, remind the guests they're running out of time. So you can see these are out there. Remember to keep your hostess active in her party and remind her to encourage her friends to put in an order. And this is, this is what they're there for, right? So I love that little guy, isn't he cute? <laughs> Final tips and pointers. Keep your hostess aware of where she is so she can work on her goal. Um, let her know who ordered and who didn't, but she needs to work on her sales. And that's a big thing. A lot of hostesses think that you're going to be out there doing the whole thing. You don't have to. She needs to work for that. Every hostess does. Make it fun. Offer prizes. Don't forget to ask the winner to PM you their address so that you can send them anything that they might have won. Um, and get to know your guests a little bit. Um, make a list of those who ordered and find out if anybody said, oh, I'd love to have that, but I can't afford it. That's a potential hostess for you next time, or even somebody who's going to be selling. Go ahead, next slide. And finally, I hold my parties from Sunday through Friday. So it's the week before that you're going to say, hey, she's having a party. I offer on Friday night, the last order I'm taking is at 11, unless the hostess asks for more time. Then I close with the hostess the following day. So it's like in the afternoon, so she can pull in any last minute orders. And then, uh, and then you have it all recorded. And then she tells you what she wants. And here's the trick. You have to go to your Avon now, uh, no, your uh, store, your e-store, and order it under her name. And you pay for it because that's what she's getting from you, her 10%. So if she earns $200 and she wants that spinning curl for $175 you are going to order that for her and anything else that she might want to go along with it. She earned that $200. You're giving that to her. That's her percentage. You order it for her from your e-store to her address, and that's how she gets it. It's real easy. And then it counts as your sales too, right? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. The whole thing goes under her name, even though you're paying for it with your credit card. So you're really good on that. Anybody else? Any questions? Yes, no, maybe. Anything hey, like I said. Flo, one quick question. 
Uh, wouldn't uh, this work a little bit better if you were to actually set their uh, party up through our fundraising tool? You can name it their part by their party. Yeah, and can then that. that way, and then the link, because then that'd be easier way for you to keep track of all the sales within the by using our fundraiser tool. Yeah, you, you could definitely do that. Yeah. Yep. I haven't used that option yet. That's a good thing. I think I'll look okay. into that. Yeah, that's a great way because let Avon figure it all out for you. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if she's getting so much a percentage of each order. Um, and then maybe she's going to use that percentage or that dollar amount that that comes to to buy what she wants to buy. So right, like say for instance, if you use the uh, <coughs> if you use that uh, um, if you use that tool to do that for fundraising, you can set the percentages at ten percent on both. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, because then that'll tell you exactly. Because I, I love the way it does that. It just tells you the amount of sales, how much is the the person earned off of that, and so forth. Okay. What kind of games did you play? Uh, there's a lot of different kinds. Sometimes it's just like when that that one sheet that was on there, it, it's just so that you tell them what your name is. What, what's your tropical drink? You know, it's like the color of your shirt and the last thing you ate for dinner, you know? So it, there's, that's, yeah, there's that's a game with no winner. Games. There's tons of games out there. <clears throat> right. They are all over the internet. And all you got to do is go to Google and then just type in something like... Um, online games and then you do that and the it, it'll just flood you with images of online games that they can play at the party um like i put that one on there there was that pile of uh lipstick samples and there are 68 lipstick samples and i put them both on there because you can then post that later and if you get a winner you know it's winner winner chicken dinner i just told them i played oh goodness i probably paid played a game every other day with a winner who won a prize and I sent out three of them for the for them. But there's a lot of different games on there. They can take a picture of something that they're holding, and then you could do a drawing or a raffle. Or uh, for the first person who orders, you might have something that you want to send to them. Or the points game. I do the points game. Go through all of them. Write their names down. If they commented, they get a point. Um, if they put in an order, they get a certain number of points. If they ask a question, they get points. If they want to be a hostess, they get points. And you can give them points for anything you want. If they show a picture of themselves in a yellow shirt, you can give them points. And whatever you feel like doing, you just go ahead and do. And you can start it like by having everybody post a selfie, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it, yeah, you can, This these are so much fun and you could really earn now, I got a question. money you need. Do you do, you do um, a Facebook Live or a Zoom on their do you do it in an event or on their page or how do you, I, I, I missed that part. I'm sorry. I, I set it up as a group on, on my page. I set it up as a group. Then I make my hostess the co-hostess and then she invites all her friends to it because she has that access now because she's the co-hostess. So she invites all of her friends to her page and you just keep putting things out there. I will do um, a video like a makeup, how to put the makeup on or how to use one of the masks or something of that nature. I'll do a video and then I'll post it on that. Nobody sees it except the people at her party. But you say on her page, but you mean a group page? A group yes. page. Yeah. And, and actually, done in a group oh, page. Mm -hmm. Okay. You create a yeah. new group page with whatever right. I, I, we, I created a group for yeah. the okay yeah but I got confused I thought you meant her fan page but you meant her group page yeah okay. her group you, page. you create a group page and what I did with mine is I went um I did like uh Heather's online Avon party and then that way when they get there they can see that that's what that is but she will invite them to come to her party party and I'll have already put it on her Facebook page a few days before the party to let them know what's coming up and then any of her friends who want to get into the party mm -hmm. they can put it right on that page oh yeah invite me I need something so you, know, but I'll, you create a group page for each of the, the parties hostesses each hostess, hostess has their own yes okay and then when you're done with the, then you get rid of the group page you can, or you can hang on to it because that has a lot of good leads on it. You can say, how did you like your mascara that you bought? Because you'll, right. you'll have a notice of everything they bought. So 
So you could just say, oh yeah, she was gonna think about having another party, but are you interested in having a party? I can get you some free stuff. Okay. So I, I hang on to it. If they go back to that page, they can still get in there and see all the cool stuff. But most of the time, nobody ever returns to the page once the party's over and everybody's ordered. And then you could go back in there and you can shut down all comments to the page so nobody else can comment. But you can go back in there and review everything. Okay. That's good advice. Thank you so much. Yeah, great. Great. If I ever together. have any other questions, can I contact you? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, Flo. You're welcome. You can post. It was fun. I got to tell you, I, I had... Um, I had four really good parties and then there was a long gap where I didn't do any parties because my, my dad passed away. And so I was very involved with the family with that. Oh, so I stopped. Thank you. I stopped doing them and now I'm starting to get into it again because I've been talking a lot about it and there's a lot of really great things going on out there and a lot of really great ideas and people want to do parties because they're locked in right now still. Mm -hmm. So they want to do something. They want to go somewhere and spend their money. Why not on Avon, right? right. And that, so, there were yeah. some great points on our BIB club too about parties. So um, that's, I know you're in that too, Melanie. So definitely yeah. there's lots of, lots of ideas and we're all here to help whoever wants the help to create this. We can also on D uh, Dream Achievers on our uh, messenger group, we can make, you know, post some, some questions there and, and we can all help you. So and I'll let you know that each of the parties that I had, all of them were between $350 and $500. So, I mean, these are people that ordered from my e-store, basically, because that's where they went, to the e-store. So they all ordered them from the e-store. And I'm thinking if I had two parties going at the same time, and they were both about that same amount, I mean, that's almost $1,000 in one week. Uh -huh. So that was a pretty good thing. Though that was some really big orders that came in on my e-store. So I'm wanting to work that a little bit more and stay in touch with the people who ordered that way because that's really good. And I'll I'll tell you something. I got five orders this past campaign from people that I didn't know that found my e-store through Google. So make sure you're doing that end of it too, because these people I can reach out to them later. And I sent, I sent them all thank you notes, you know, thank you for ordering. If you need anything, your order should be there in a couple of days, that kind of thing. One lady even said that her grandmother's name was Florence, and that's why she ordered from me. I thought that was so cool. And then she was asking for, she was asking for a, a purse size Amari. And I love Amari, so I had some purse sizes. So when she put in an order, I sent her my purse size Amari. And she sent me a note. She goes, I wasn't expecting that, but thank you so much. So I'm thinking I probably will hear from her again. But now I've got a lead. I mean, I, I might reach out to her later and say, hey, what do you think about hosting a party and get some stuff? Okay, I have a and question for you then, Flo. Uh, you, you run your parties for a whole week. Um, <clears throat> How often do you post, how many times do you post to that party each day as far as how many games or whatnot? I usually put one game, um, about two or three products. I put uh, conversations constantly. Um, and when I say a game, I, I like to do it where they get a little something, even if it's some free samples. And what does it cost me? It's a small envelope. It's a little vial or something, and it's just a stamp. That's all I'll take it there. So I'll offer them something. Um, and then I put, um, I do a complete thing on products. I will do videos that I've already created, like how-to videos. So I'll put one out there. So I would say I probably have anywhere from four to six things on there every day. One game, several products conversations you want them to interact with you and their hostess and each other ask me some questions about my job and get points and then that way you can tell them all about the Avon opportunity so there's a lot of really cool things you can do on it but you have to interact and you have to keep watching that page too I mean even though I'm only putting five things out there they're asking questions or they're making comments and you have to interact with them so you make sure you're there when you post something, go back through the stuff and see who's made comments on the rest of it, even all the way back to the beginning. I, 
If you don't want to run it for all those days, you can actually do a, a hype thing where you're getting them excited, you're showing them a few things, and then run the party for one hour at the end of the week where you do live on Facebook and show them products that they showed interest in all week long if you've got those. That's so good. there's a lot of people who do that too. It's just a one hour deal. Put your orders in, you got until midnight tonight and we're closing the party down. So they can see and know that you're gonna be on there live showing the real product. And you can have a lot of fun with that too. You can put it on your face and you can just do whatever How you want How often with that. do you like, when you're doing it like, um every couple hours are you on there every hour or a couple hours or well here's I the mean, great thing facebook has a lot of different programs out there where they can you can put it in there and get ready to post it and then you can schedule it to be so if you've got a full-time job outside you can schedule something to show up at eight o'clock right. in the morning you can show one at noon you can have one going in at two oh, no i mean i know about scheduling i meant for you like when you do like the conversations and stuff like that Oh, like when you go on there and you put like a conversation or something, do you like specifically like take the time and like, okay, well, I have 20 minutes to stay on and answer questions oh. or uh, how, how, how often do you like? Well, because a lot of them are busy and they also have full-time jobs or full-time job as a mom and they're busy in the home. They don't always have time to sit down and have a conversation like that, but I can start a conversation uh, post Mm -hmm. And then keep going back to it as often as I think I need to. And just make sure that I answer every single question. So you got to read through it, answer right. it, take a little bit of time. Yeah, there is, there is some time involved, but I got to say end to end, minute by minute, if I really count the time, I might be spending a total of four hours on that whole party from the whole week. Oh, and okay. it depends on what days you run it. I mean, you can run it. For a couple days, you, you you know, you it's your schedule. You set it up what works right. for you. I okay. try to do it in the middle of the campaign so that I make sure that they get in on one campaign only. Because right. we were going to cross into the 22-23 with this other party, and then she got sick. So mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't do it. And so I'm going to do the campaign 23 with her and get her rolling again as soon as she's feeling better. But you know, she, do you ever have a party that maybe I could go in and I could look and see exactly what you do so I can sure. feel comfortable? Doing I can it. invite you to this next party. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. just send me a friend request if, we, if we're yeah, not already just, friends. Yeah, just sure. a contact flow and she'll, yeah. okay. she'll help you through that. So yeah, and, okay. and then you can see how the whole thing goes end to end and you can see how involved it gets or doesn't get because I don't think it takes very much of my time at all, but this is all I do uh, starting today because I've had uh, kids in my home for school. I've been doing homeschooling with them because our schools are not in session. They're all doing at home schooling. So my whole day was occupied with three kids trying to keep them on track for school. But as of today, all of them are back in their own homes. Their parents are with them for the next couple of days so that they can finish off the mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. quarter. And then the following week, they go back to school. So I'm going to be totally free for Avon, but my time was a little bit here and there during the day when they're busy in their classes. And then after they went home, I pounded it for a couple of hours so that, you know, before dinner and uh, kept on task for that. So you know, one other question I have. Um, so do you ever like post anything on your main personal page and saying whoever wants like free Avon or wants to host this party, contact me or something? Is that how you get people to host a party with you because I had yeah. a friend that wanted to and then she only invited one person and then she didn't even like join so I, I was like okay well there goes that what I did is I I got I made sure that I had uh tagged a bunch of different people that I'm friends with that I talk to all the time and I did years ago when Ava or when uh, Facebook first started um, I joined a few games and I got into the groups and we talked to each other, the people that were in the games, it was interactive. And I made a lot of good Facebook friends. And now it's like 10 years later and we still talk all the time. If I went to any one of those and asked them for if they were interested in having an Avon party, they would probably do it because they've had parties where I've bought from them, like, you know, Tupperware, or Pampered Chef, they do them all online now. Right. So I would go and I would buy something from them. 
So I can ask them, are you interested in having an Avon party? I can get you 10, 20% because I get 40%. So I can offer them 20% and I'm okay with only getting 20% because I got all these orders and they might come back for more. And that's the whole excitement about it. They may come back another time. So, and that's what I'm trying to do or get more people to get in because this is good for my sales. It boosts me back up. But and, you know, your cust your customers can be your hostess too. So think, you know, think about everybody, make a list yeah. of what everybody. I do, what I do occasionally is I will tell them, I am having a mystery hostess Avon party. Anybody who would like to attend, all you have to do is purchase it and then you get in on it. You get in on the raffle for the hostess and you will get 20% in free stuff. So they can come to the party, spend the $40, $50, whatever limit you say they have to spend in order to be the mystery hostess. Once you have everybody's order in, you can pull it out, announce who that winner is, is the mystery hostess, and then they can add more stuff to their order. And then you put that part of the order in. And then you can pull them right off of your regular page. And then they can be part of that party. So you can do it that way as well. So yeah, I do it with them. And I had guys attend and they bought stuff for their wives. It's like, yay. Yeah, yeah. Was great, good. great points, Flo. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna stop with the questions right now because we need to, you know, make sure this meeting goes only an hour, like I promised. So, um, but the, you Hi, know, there, so much fun, Don. There's, <laughs> there's lots of, there's lots of more things that, um, that, you know, we can talk about, you know, it can be a Zoom call just about this party. So we can do something like that. Just, you know, people let me know what you want and we can use my Zoom and, and answer lots of questions and talk more about different pictures and all kinds of stuff. So I think that would be good if we could do that. Okay. All right. Let's, let's plan a day. Somebody can plan the day and just let me know as long as I'm available, we can do it. So now to close out this meeting tonight, we have an action plan. What will you focus on to achieve by campaign 26? And you're gonna all take a picture of this and you're gonna fill in these answers. How many new customers? How many new team members? What sales level do you want to achieve? Who wants to achieve the bronze leader incentive? Now, everyone that's on the call, we're, we can talk about this. Uh, you can message me privately. I am going to stop the recording right now. I want to thank everyone that's on the call. I want to thank everyone that's going to watch this on the replay. And uh, we'll take a few minutes. I don't have a lot of time because I just got an appointment tonight um, shortly after seven. But uh we're going to go over this. This is, this is an important thing to get. If you plan to fail or you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay. I kind of read that backwards. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So what are you going to do in the next four campaigns to make this work for you? Thanks everyone for joining us. I'm going to shut the recording off. Goodbye everyone. And those that are on can stay.